Hi everyone, my name is Chris Hoffman and today we're going to learn the drum grooves from 21 Pilots drummer Josh Dunn. The first song is the hit single Stressed Out from the album Blurry Face and for this song they even got a Grammy in 2017 for best pop duo group performance. The studio production of that song uses quite a lot of samples and processing, so let's have a listen to one of Josh's live performances, how he interprets the song, and then we break things down. Josh Dunn has a core kick and snare drum pattern but plays different hi-hat phrasings on top of it. And let's practice the kick and snare part first. And now it makes sense to go through some of the song sections and variations that Josh uses and that you can choose from when playing along with the song. First variation is playing quarter notes on the hi-hat in the first half of the verse. The second variation is playing eighth note off beats on the hi hat in the second half of the verse. And the third variation is playing an eighth note push on the hi-hat for the pre-chorus. Just drum sound and playing approach is a mixture of hip hop drumming and rock drumming. So at the end of the day, it's up to you to decide how much of your personal hip hop drumming or how much of your rock drumming um, you want to bring to the gig. And for this lesson purpose, let's take it to the extreme. Let's go full rock chorus with open hi-hats and even more bass drum notes and immediately back to a hip hop approach. Here we go.
The second song I want to show you today is called Car Radio and requires a little more finesse when playing on the Hyatt as it is very syncopated. The Hyatt variations in Stressed Out had no syncopations. We played quarter notes, we played eighth notes and although we played eighth note offbeats, they were evenly spaced too. And now in the verse groove of Car Radio we have a broken, a broken Hyatt figure and notes that are not evenly spaced. Let's have a listen to the studio recording and if you can figure out the Hyatt pattern. I have these thoughts so often I ought to replace that slot with what I once bought Cause somebody stole my car radio and now I just sit in silence have a two bar phrase with a backbeat on beat three and this is what the hands are playing. And now we just add the bass drum on beat one and the groove sounds like this. The approach of this groove has the pendulum rather on the pop, funky, hip-hop side of things. And let's see how the groove changes when we play the Hyatt with a hand-to-hand -hand sticking. And let's watch just playing this groove live to get an idea how it sounds. I have these thoughts so often I got to replace that slot with what I once bought. Cause somebody stole my car radio and now I just sit in silence. Lose yourself. You can close your eyes if you want. Sometimes things are less scary. Josh is playing continuous 16th notes and he's accenting some of the higher notes. On the end of beat 4, Josh likes to play a 5 stroke roll that leads into beat 1. And this is what the hands are playing at a slow tempo. And with the bass drum on beat one and up to speed at the original tempo, the groove sounds like this. So the effect you get compared to the studio version is a rougher and edgier sounding drum groove and swings the pendulum a bit more towards rock, I would say. And I hope these two song examples show Josh's drumming profile while also giving you some tools for your personal playing, how to navigate between two drumming styles, hip hop and rock. And let me know your thoughts in the comments, what styles and sounds you would like to see in the upcoming lessons and I hope to see you next time. Take care everyone and bye bye.